the young and the restless spoilers shock. Kyle Abbott had just stumbled upon a secret so shocking it left him reeling. For months, he had been caught in a tangled web of deceit and manipulation, but now it all made sense. Audra Charles, the woman who had seemingly fallen from grace after being publicly fired by Victor Newman, was not the victim everyone believed her to be. No, she was playing a far deeper, more sinister game. Victor, the master puppeteer, hadn't discarded Audra at all. He had merely placed her in the perfect position to act as a spy, an infiltrator who could tear apart the very fabric of Jabot from the inside. Kyle's discovery came by pure chance. He had overheard a clandestine conversation between Audra and Victor, their voices hushed but unmistakably conniving. Victor's cold, calculating voice still rang in Kyle's ears, You did well, Audra. Jack and Diane don't suspect a thing. Continue to gain their trust. We'll bring Jabot down from the inside. The realization hit Kyle like a freight train. He had been played, duped into believing that Victor had any loyalty to him at all. It wasn't just Jabot that Victor was trying to control, he had been controlling Kyle, too, using him as a pawn in a larger, more dangerous game. Kyle's fury was immediate, visceral. He clenched his fists, his mind racing as the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. For months, he had worked under the misguided belief that Victor was grooming him, trusting him to step up and help guide Newman Enterprises to new heights. Kyle had long admired Victor's ruthless business acumen, hoping to learn from the best. But now he saw the truth, Victor never had any intention of bringing Kyle into his inner circle. The entire mentorship had been a trap, one designed to isolate Kyle from his own family and weaken Jabot from within. The worst part? Kyle realized that he wasn't just a victim of Victor's manipulation, he was the fool. Everyone around him had warned him not to trust Victor, not to get too close. Even Diane, his own mother, had been skeptical of Victor's intentions, though she had never said it outright. And now, here he was, standing alone in the cold realization that he had been nothing more than a disposable piece on Victor's chessboard. But it wasn't just Victor who had betrayed him. Audra, who had wormed her way into Jabot's business dealings, was in on the scheme all along. Victor's so-called firing of her had been a ruse, a way to embed her even deeper into Jack's world. Jack Abbott, Kyle's father, had been contemplating bringing Audra into a business alliance, uncertain but intrigued by her potential. Jack was a man of cautious strategy, and he hadn't fully committed to trusting Audra. Diane, too, had her doubts. She had sensed something off about Audra from the beginning, even though she had kept her suspicions to herself. Diane had lived through enough corporate espionage to recognize a dangerous player when she saw one. It was Kyle who had been the fool, thinking that Victor's approval meant something, thinking that Audra's dismissal from Newman Enterprises had been real. All along, the real game was happening behind his back. Kyle needed to act, and fast. He stormed out of the building, barely able to contain the rage coursing through his veins. His destination was clear, Jabot. He needed to warn Jack and Diane, to tell them everything he had uncovered. As much as Kyle wanted to take Victor and Audra down by himself, he knew that he didn't have the resources or the cunning to outmaneuver them alone. This was no longer just about him, it was about protecting his family and Jabot, the company that had been a cornerstone of the Abbott legacy for generations. Kyle's mind raced as he drove back to Jabot. How could I have been so stupid? he asked himself over and over again. He had trusted Victor, thought that the old man saw something in him, something that made Kyle worthy of stepping into the Newman Empire. But all along, Victor had been orchestrating his downfall. And Audra, with her clever charm and strategic moves, had played her part perfectly. Kyle now understood that he had never been the one in control, never been the key player he thought he was. As Kyle approached Jabot, a sense of determination washed over him. Yes, he had been used, but that was about to change. He wasn't going to let Victor and Audra win. He wasn't going to let them destroy his family's company or make him look like an even bigger fool. He would expose them for what they were, liars and manipulators. And for the first time in a long time, Kyle felt a renewed sense of loyalty to Jabot. He had been lured away by the allure of Victor's power and the thrill of working outside the family business, but now he understood that there was no place for him but home. Kyle burst into Jack's office, his face flushed with anger. We need to talk and now, he said, his voice more urgent than ever.